What is going on everybody? It's your boy Alex G back again with another travel vlog. The destination for this vlog will be the United Arab Emirates. We will be traveling to Dubai and also Abu Dhabi. So definitely is a cool trip lined up. We're gonna be doing tons of fun stuff. Um, so definitely stick around and see all of the cool things that we have uh, in store. Right now it's raining outside, unfortunately, but nonetheless, we are headed over to JFK in New York to, uh, to be on our way. So stick around and uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right, now we're on the shuttle. We're gonna go head to the airport. Okay, so we just landed in France for our connecting flight. Yeah, in Paris specifically for our connecting flight to Dubai. to another six seven hour flight from France to Dubai now so when we get there it should be about like eight o'clock it's kind of nice Okay guys, so we are in the Shangri-La and we are about to check in. As you can see, it's super nice. Of course. All right, y'all, so we are here. Yes, our word is on the plane. I don't believe in that whole airport fit thing. But um, but yeah, so this is the room. They brought our bags in for us, which was nice. Nice and cool, even though it's like 100 degrees outside and it's, it's midnight. This is the room. Probably one of the nicer hotel rooms I've been in. We got snacks, we got, look at that, what we got? Peanuts, cranberry nuts, what is that? M&Ms, a little bit of Cabernet, little Johnny Walker, little Henny, and a Capri Sun, look at that Capri Sun. Mm. Yeah, you gotta pay for all those. Except for the top things, I, I think. I could be wrong, but see, that's how they get you guys. You gonna go crazy on the M&Ms, but, the thing about Dubai is that it is a lot cheaper than it is in the U.S., which is nice. Tons of storage. You could clearly they have this set up for people that want to come and live here. Um, this is the bathroom. Let me find a light. Is this a light? It's not a light. 
How do we? How do we? <laughs> Wait, where's, where's the light at? Oh. You control all the lights in the front. Control everything from the front, so. Um, mm -hmm. Interesting. What about that light over there? This is so confusing. Yeah. That turns that off. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so this is the. Is this two toilets? Oh, uh, one's. No, it's a thing. No, they clean. I, 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 name, I know. <laughs> yeah, that was two No, no, I walked in. I'm like, I wasn't expecting to see two things here because I saw it from the corner. Oh, yeah. Um, what do they call that thing? Bathtub, which of course you won't be using, and then the walk-in shower is nice. So yeah, this is quite nice. What is that, big mirror? Yeah. So you can watch yourself shower in the creek. Cool. Oh, the speakers? The yeah, speakers right there. Oh. Oh, that's hard. Where's the Bluetooth though? Where's the aux? Oh, is that up in the phone? Cool. So very nice. And then now we'll go over here for the view. Tons of storage. It's crazy amount of cabinetry in here. Nice desk. I'll be over here making beats. And this is yeah. Thank you for turning off the light. Oh, that completely changed everything. So that is the Burj Khalifa. Um, it actually is insane in person. I know they say it's the world's tallest building, but like, you know, seeing it in videos definitely doesn't do it justice, but going outside and seeing how tall it is compared to other tall buildings is, is really crazy. Like, look it's at hazy it. right now too, it's probably gonna look better yeah. than tomorrow. That's tall. Yeah, that, that's like insane. It doesn't even look real actually, oh. but we'll, we'll be over there. That's um, crazy, we could have been on the 38th floor too, by the way. The guy said, do we want to connect the room? I was like, no, nah. no, no thanks. But you see the uh, the highway system, there was no traffic. It was, well, it's midnight right now, so that could potentially be it. But even in other videos I've seen from other people, there's never any traffic and it's probably because their highway system is probably a lot better than it is in America, I would assume. Um, but yeah, so nice room, nice view. And the adventure will start later today with what is for what are we doing you said we're going to the frame and the mall yes tomorrow we are just gonna chill maybe go, possibly go to the beach go to the dubai frame and the dubai mall so right. tomorrow's just a chill day sounds good it's like a settling in day just chilling we're gonna see how this subway system works mm -hmm. possibly because it's right there you know transition yeah see the forgot to get this last bit mini bar you have to pay for everything here but it's still again it's in durham so it's not a, a, as expensive um but that's a rocket it's 20 20 usd so you might as well just go buy it from somewhere else but if you got the money of course spend it but i'm cheap so we're gonna go downstairs real quick and explore for a little bit turn off all the lights well some of the lights all right so now we're back outside walking around It's super hot out here. It's pretty nice. Everything here is open 24 7, so you just walk down the street and just buy whatever you want. So, you got, of course, American parties, Pizza Hut. I can't get over the birds, though. Look at this. It's just crazy. We'll be all the way up there. I forget which day, but yeah. Okay, so I got some uh, chicken and fries, of course. Uh, I sound like the chicken and tenders guy. Goes out to a place with tons of good food and only eat, eats chicken and fries, but it's late. It's like almost two in the morning now, so. Um, so yeah, so now we're just walking back to the hotel. We're gonna eat, even though I shouldn't be eating this late, and then get ready for tomorrow. I didn't get this view before, but this is the, the height of the hotel, so I actually didn't even realize how tall it actually is, but we're on the 34th floor. So that's what gives us the good view. All right, so now we're back in the room and I will eat, like I said, and get the best night's sleep ever. Say good night to the, the fellow viewers. Good night. This has been day one of travel. We got cool stuff coming, stay tuned. What is going on? It is day two. We are dressed and ready. Say hello. Say hello. Oh. 
<laughs> was this a meeting? <laughs> Hi. Hello. So, yeah, we are going to go head out to uh, Earth Cafe. Yeah. And then we will go to the mall and we will go to the frame as well. She's recording TikToks back there. Behind the scenes footage. Um, wait, let me show you the view real quick. So this is what it looks like in the daytime. Obviously, the architecture is crazy. There's the birds in the daytime. It's super crazy. Like, it's unreal how, how tall that building is. But um, yeah, the highway system is cool. Hopefully the train goes by. I saw it earlier today go by. Um, so hopefully before the end of the video, before we leave for the room, I could at least show you what that looks like. You see it, it'll go right across the highway over there. Um, of course, for my car people or people that like wealthy things, you could see some supercars down there. Um, so it'll definitely be interesting to see that kind of stuff. I think the the Rolex Tower is over there. So definitely, definitely a lot of a lot, a lot of money around here. Let's see, that looks like a, a nice pool over there. Um, yeah, it's definitely a beautiful city, but we're gonna go head down and explore in a second. So there is the train right on time. And then you'll see it'll just go right over the highway over there. And you see how, like I said this before, I said this yesterday, the highway system just looks so intricate. So, cause there's a pretty decent amount of cars, but definitely no traffic or anything like that. Cause of how many lanes there are. This is the other side of the building. See these mill towers, those skyscrapers over there. Yeah. Definitely the older side, but we may explore there too. Let me tell you, this is the driest heat I felt in a long time. I like it better than New Jersey heat or Florida heat because it's not humid, it's just hot. As the train goes by. Yes, Earth Cafe. Earth Cafe. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to go inside to Earth Cafe. Do you want to go check out the Rolls Royce boutique? Can we go inside here first, or you want to just? Outside. You guys can see that sun just looks like it's hot. There's a bird from far away. Let me get every shot of this building as possible just to show you how huge this thing is. It's crazy.
right, guys. So I have the flash on. I know it looks crazy in here, but that's because I wanted to show you the uh, this little card thing. So when you first walk in the room, I guess to save energy and whatever, and also to make it so it's not boiling when you walk into your room, it automatically closes the blinds, turns off all the lights and everything. So you take your card, drop it in here, and then it automatically turns on the room. And then gives you those views. And it does this at night too as well, um, except it'll it'll open up the blinds and everything, except it'll also have a like a backlight and on the bed too, but because it's daytime, it doesn't do that. But yeah, just a cool little, cool little trick. And now we're gonna go, go head to the mall. So the Dubai mall is about seven floors, I counted. 1200 stores, so this place is massive. It's almost five o'clock, so we have to get there as soon as possible because we want to get to the frame and go at night. So um, in the background, you'll be able to see all these same buildings at night again, but just with a different perspective. You'll be able to see old Dubai and new Dubai, um, kind of like we can in the hotel, like in the hallway section in the hotel, but it'll just be like a different perspective over there. So we're gonna go run over there right now and uh, check it out. The mall is huge, so we gotta, we gotta leave ASAP. Especially like in New York, like oh, most of the club, like the lounges that are in hotels. mall so a ton of money as you can imagine yeah there's a lower level staring in disgust really <laughs> why they got the shoulders out <laughs> It's different yeah, out here. No. <laughs> it's real different out here. I don't know how many more luxury stores I'm going to record because we'll be here all day. From here, so when we go to the, the mall and the bus, my fave. Right? That's what that's what I was thinking saying American Dream, they just have the app. Right. I never seen this. I didn't even know it existed. They got a bare brick store. Hilarious. America's trash, I'm moving out here. There's way too many stores out here. We're gonna be out here all day. We're still on the first floor. And it's still just crazy stores. Got the 
an ice skating rink in here. Yeah, this is like a. I don't. This is definitely a lot better version of American Dream uh, Mall, even though American Dream's not finished. This is just. American Dream Mall though is like you could look down more, like the whole thing circles the mall, right? Like yeah, the, the, the cool. setup is better. Yeah, it's like Death Max Center. But in terms of what's in here so far, it might be bigger than American Dream. I think so. That's why I. It could I was, be. At first I was like, nah, it's not. But then we're still walking. But the thing is. Half of American Dream still isn't even open, like the upper floors. That's true. So who knows? Guys, we've been walking for days, and we're still we're still on the same floor. This is out of control. There's way too many stores in here. It's really nice though. Definitely the best mall I've been in so far. A lot of options. Yeah, anything you could possibly need. And then uh, obviously there's a lot of uh, luxury here, but the more there are more affordable stores. Thank you. There are more affordable stores like Zara, H and M, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but we just happen to be on the, uh, the more expensive store uh, floor. Seiko watches back there. Great watch brand if anybody wants to watch. <laughs> yeah. Look at this, right? Somebody said they wanted to go to Celine. It's going to take you four minutes just to get to Celine. This is just one part of the. This is the ground floor. Like we're not even, we didn't even get to the rest of the floors. Look at the map, look, look at where we are. Look how far you have to go to get to Celine. This is crazy. Hey, well. Money. <laughs> this is also one of the nicer uh, touch screens. Everything too, you need to get to the bus. Yeah, it's like the Crazy. Yeah, this is the lower ground. We're on ground floor, first floor, second floor, third floor. It's empty, <laughs> and fourth floor. Okay, so there's only like three. Oh, four. Oh my lord. Let's finish. This is ridiculous. This is just so much. I don't know what this is. We're gonna walk it. This is, this is probably the jewelry section. Yeah. This is absolutely the most random. Why is there a dinosaur? Where did we walk into? The Cheesecake Factory? This is a fever dream. It's a whole dinosaur. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Oh, this, man. Where we came in, this isn't even where we came in, yo. There's <laughs> so many. We didn't even see the Paddock store. There's so many different stores. There's multiple instances of each store in here. Like it's crazy. Where do we start from? We're almost lapped around. Almost lapped around. We've been walking around for like 40 minutes, and still didn't get around the first floor yet. We have to go upstairs. There's a whole. This is up, a man. lot. It's definitely a lot going on here. We need it. We honestly need it like four hours in here. They got the RM store. Richard Miller. This place is beautiful. Vacheron Constantine, one of the best watchmakers. I'll definitely have one of those. I got one on my list that I will be getting an older one. This must be the watch center. AP, of course. Very good watches. Two Door Quietly is another really good watch brand on my list. Yeah, and my favorite, possibly my favorite, is Jaeger, which I will show in a second. I just don't want to put the camera in people's faces. But um, Jaeger is probably one of my favorite watches. I probably, I'll probably say my favorite watch brand because it's so unique. Yeah, the Zara looks nice. We're almost, almost at the lap point, guys. All right, we finally made it around once. Now we're going. It took us 40 minutes. Yeah, we're going up the escalator. It took 40 minutes to go around one floor. Your feet hurt. Even yeah. Even those little car things. So I get back. I have boots on. No, but my, ones, my ones are like the killing. worst shoes of all. Not gonna lie, guys. I don't think I could do it anymore. We've been, we've been walking too long, and my feet hurt. 
and this is ridiculous. Uh -oh, we gotta go get the... So the aquarium and the zoo is over there, so we're gonna go see if we can try to, try to see it. Yeah. So we've been walking through the mall. It's, it's it's like really insane, like I've been saying. Uh, but we decided to just walk over to the aquarium and the underwater zoo. Um, we won't be able to see it, obviously, because you have to pay to get in. But we'll see if I can show you a glimpse real quick. So we can get a little bit of a preview. There's looks like there's some rays and things down there. I'm guessing if you pay to go to the aquarium, you'll see this, but on a larger level. Actually, it looks like yeah, there's a tunnel over there, so people are walking through the, the aquarium. You can see them. That's not a reflection. There's actual people in there. Sharks. Looks cool. Look at that one. Yeah. We may or may not come back here. I don't believe in aquariums personally. I don't believe in captivity, but, but maybe, yeah. So we'll see. Now we are up on the third floor, the third, not technically the final floor because we didn't go all the way to the very bottom, but yeah. All right, now we are in the store getting uh, some converters for chargers obviously because we are on the US charger, so we have to get a converter. Um, Mal had one, but I need one for myself, so yeah. Still walking, guys. This place is crazy. There's a food court. Okay, so now we're gonna check out the underwater zoo and then we're gonna make our way to the frame. We got about two hours until it closes, so. That baby's getting attacked by the manta ray. And we're now outside waiting for our Uber. I'm used to the uh, St. Louis Arch, and this is pretty similar yeah, concept. Oh yeah, basically the same basically thing. Basically the same thing, except just with lights. Not taking anything away from this, but just for comparison, if anybody's done both, I'm assuming it's gonna be like the same. This one looks <laughs> a lot taller though, I think. I don't remember how long, how tall the, uh, the arch was. This is at 0.5 right underneath it, so I should hopefully t tell you guys, or show you guys how tall this really is.
kind of reminds me of the elevator at one very little bit. where we just were before. We have views of all this stuff from the hotel. So these are all the buildings that you see me <laughs> recording over and over again. That's the train. That's the road where our hotel is on. That's where we will be tomorrow. <laughs> that we're not going to that, but you never know with us. I might take over. The World Trade Center is over. Um, I think I'll report here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going here tomorrow. Uh, we're going to get fire picks on over there. That's yeah. the street. We already seen half of this. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely a beautiful city. So much to see. See, where's that at? Yeah, right? Is, is, that on, is, is that on our itinerary? I don't think so. I didn't really have the flamingos out here. Yeah, go see the flamingos. I was at tomorrow. Yeah, there's so much stuff to see. Cool. A lot of the buildings have this sparkly effect with the lights. Look at that traffic. I said earlier there's no traffic. Tons of traffic. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but we'll try to figure that out. Put some respect on his name. Now we're back going towards the ground. And we will see the trip back down. Unfortunately, no. Yeah, that's the thing that sucks. Yeah, guys, we, we won't be alive to see most of that there. I would love to be able to see all of Okay, and that was the frame. There it is again. All of its glory. Yes. Okay, so now we are back in the room. 
Um, we are probably gonna go swimming if it's open, hopefully it's open, but there is a, uh, a pool and an observation deck on the 42nd floor of this building. Um, there's 42 floors in total, so it's all the way up at the top. Uh, I went up there earlier today. I didn't record it though, because people were in the pool, didn't want to be weird. Also, I was fully clothed, so it definitely would have looked a little crazy. Um, but now we're gonna go head up there and, uh, and see if we can first of all get in, but also swim, because it is scorching outside. All right, so now we are headed to one of the pools in this building. Yeah, this is the pool. Yeah, downstairs, that's where all the expensive cars were. So they might be out here in the lounge now because it's a pool and a lounge. The one upstairs is just a, um, it's just a pool. So we just left the, uh, this is the 42nd floor pool. And this is the view. So we're actually outside on the balcony. So now we're doing some basket robins. Alright guys, so that was the end of day two. Thank you guys for watching. Um, day three, what we'll be doing is in the morning, we'll be going to visit a mosque. Um, we have another, the larger and most sacred mosque that they do have here in Dubai. We'll be doing that at a later date. But we're going to another one uh, in the morning and that's where they teach you more about the religion. Um, so that should definitely be something that's interesting. Whenever we go on these trips, we always have to do something cultural in the places where we go. Um, not so we're not acting like colonizers when we visit these places, but um, but yeah, we're gonna go visit that, and then also we go into we're going to the Burj, possibly the beach, possibly swimming since we didn't get to yesterday since it closed, um, and there's just a lot of stuff. So definitely stay tuned for day three, um, and, and then it, it, we're just gonna this is, the trip is just gonna go up from here. We have a lot of stuff planned for the rest of the week. Um, early in the week has been kind of slow, but definitely have a lot cooler stuff. So stay tuned. Welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Cheers. morning guys we are at the Jumeirah mosque uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and register and um, learn a little bit more about their culture religion uh, and this beautiful building as you can see so they gave us uh, some breakfast just a little tea and donuts and dates um, yeah. this is the building And halfway through, just take a seat and stop. Okay, the first thing we do is turn the water on. Start washing your hands. You go one, two, three. Okay, well, that's done. Take water in your mouth and spit it out. Three times. Try not to spit on the person next to you. <laughs> So basically we have to rinse our mouth just in case there's food in it. All right, you're doing very well guys. Then you note, clean your nose three times. If you have a long sleeve like mine, just roll your sleeves till you get above your elbow. All right, put your arm under the water, the right arm first, under the water. And then you just drop your hand on your arm Basically, pretend that's three times. Then you do the left. All right. 
Now, when that's done, just wet your hand under the water. Put on your forehead. Go all the way back, back, back your ear, your ears, and your neck. Only once. Okay. One step left, and that's the feet. Put your right feet under the water. Yeah. Put your hand on your feet, massage your feet. So you do the right feet first, and then you do the left. When that's done, just turn the water off. Take the towel, wipe yourself. Please, ladies and gentlemen, give them applause. I think they deserve it. Well done, everyone. This is what we do five times a day, every day. Every day. Even a public holiday or a holiday, whatever, we have to do five times because we pray five times. Also, your question why we do three times? Yeah? Not once. Three times is you are sure 100% you'll cover every part. Because we need to. So that was definitely a cool experience. Wait, why am I in cinematic mode? That was definitely a cool experience, learning more about uh, the culture, the religion, uh, the meanings for some of these things. Um, they they tied my head for me, or my my head wrap, so, um, so that was cool. And now we're gonna go inside this building we were just at where we had breakfast, and we're going to go and uh, go visit the museum. We're still outside the mosque, but I just saw this tree that looks absolutely insane. Look how beautiful that tree is. You know this tree is old. It's crazy. Hi. Hello. Hi. Malaika? Yes. Try the strawberries and cream frappuccino. So now we are headed to the top of the Burj.
So guys, that's where we were at the frame yesterday. Completely different look when it's uh, daytime, because obviously it's not lit up. to go to um, the markets to go try to see some some gold. I'm not a fan of gold personally, but we'll go check it out. So I'm definitely sweating, I'm dying, it's hot out here. I'm not gonna record too much of the market, but um, you know, I don't really care too much for jewelry to be honest with you, but uh, basically this is the whole, the whole market is just, just gold and silver and all types of jewelry. But, um, but yeah, it's pretty extensive.
is Shogun BOT. I haven't talked in a single video so far today, but um, yeah. So now we're on our way to uh, go see a cultural center and learn more about the culture, obviously. Um, get some lunch and continue our adventures for today. dinner in the sky where we will be on those over there and then they will lift you up on these cranes and we will eat in the sky I don't know why but I don't know why but we will be doing it I'm not going to put it on the bottom. I'm not going to put it on the bottom. I'm not going to put it on the bottom. I'm not going to put it on the bottom. I'm not going to put it on the bottom. I'm not going to put it on the bottom. I'm not going to put it on the bottom. I'
Don't scream and cry. Number one. Happy birthday to Malika! Good morning, good morning. It's your boy, Alex G. I definitely haven't been talking a lot in this vlog the last few days because it's just been running around pretty hectic. But um, we are on our way, well, we're about to be on our way to go out to um, do some sand bashing, some camel riding, a bunch of fun stuff. Um, it's about an hour drive uh, out there and then an hour drive back, of course. Um, but definitely should be a lot of fun. This is probably the, the one day I was looking forward to the most. Um, and decided to go with all white being out in the sand and this outfit will be destroyed. So um, hopefully I'll be able to capture how absolutely disgusting this outfit will look in a few hours. But yeah, I like the all white crispy look. The camel guys, <laughs> yeah. This is the camel farm. This is not the free camel. We will go do the first camel experience.
everybody guys everybody pass on seat man thank you yeah yeah ye na ta sir pe pakav chakki pherda As you can imagine. <sighs> so weird being out here. Like you see the pictures and it's like you're here. Yep, now we are here. Uh, so in. You see that car all the way down there? That's a little bit what it looks like. Just driving with all three vehicles. Just climb this giant dude. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You went next too. I'm the last. I wouldn't have been able to record from Marty Hill. They were like, she didn't fall over. Yeah, we just didn't work. Where's the bed dog? Yeah. Oh! 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 Almost. This might take a while. Mm
in terms of narrating this vlog. Um, I've been like talking and then not talking and just recording what's going on. Uh, but that was just a dinner uh, and all the different excursions and things we did today for Mal's birthday. Um, anybody that's watched any of the other travel vlogs knows that we always travel for Mal's birthday. So this year we just went to uh, went to Dubai. Um, but yeah, today was definitely very fun. Highly recommend. Um, uh, and I'll put in the description the companies that we booked with um, but I definitely recommend everybody to follow what we did because it was great. Um, thanks to Mal, she, she planned out her own birthday because she wanted it to be how she wanted and she did a great job. Um, but it was definitely fun. Dubai is unreal. It's like feeling, it feels like I'm in a dream. I might move out here and live here to be honest with you, it's crazy. What is going on everyone, good morning. Again, I know I've been terrible with the narrating part. Some parts is like tons of me talking and then there's none of me talking, but I'll do a little bit better today. Um, today is the last official full day. Um, we're going on, uh, going to Abu Dhabi, so one of the other Emirates. Um, with the way the, how packed the schedule was, we weren't able to uh, to visit all of the other ones, but maybe when we come back, we will visit the, uh, the other Emirates. But um, yeah, so it should be a long day, should be fun. Tons of things that we're gonna do. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to check in and say good morning and I'm going to go ahead to Starbucks, which I've been basically living off of for the last few days, uh, get some coffee and then, uh, which I haven't had in a while. Actually, I really honestly stopped drinking coffee for the last few months, but since we're here, you know, got to live a little, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get some coffee and then I'll come back and then we should be ready to go in about an hour or so. Go to Starbucks. I decided to come into this, uh, this cafe. It's pretty nice. Decided to try something a little different. Don't want to be too Americanized while we're out here. Love <laughs> my Pellegrino. Welcome Abu Dhabi for us. 
So there is no special color as red for Abu Dhabi. You know, this is just the old road material. They're maintaining it just to locate the border with Dubai. After a few more kilometers, it will come to the normal color of the road. Now, the Formula One race. You can see the glass structure on the right side. That's a hotel. That's a hotel with the name of W Hotel. In fact, uh, the one and only hotel which is built above the Formula One racing track. Someone that's a Ferrari vault. And uh, don't get confused. So this is the infamous Ferrari world. We won't be going inside, but you at least see the building. So we have a different package tour where the drivers drop in the morning, they pick by the evening, you know the people. Mostly the rides are indoors, one or two rides are outside. There's a water park coming on your right side. This is the Yas Water World, water park, water theme park. Around uh, 30 to 35 water slide rides inside, Yas Water World. Park Amusement Park, the Warner's Brothers. So the three theme park and the Formula One circuit is here in this Yas Island of Dhabi. Within 20 days, everything will be over here. Yeah. And that's coming up. A marine time museum that's coming up. So almost three, four museums are very much in pipeline here for construction. Blue for Dhabi. Even the street has been named after the former French president. We call this as Jack Chirac. Right there, that's called a side boat. Many cruise boats like Ida, Costa, Celebrity, and all. Three seasons, not one. Hot, hotter and hottest <laughs> are the three beautiful seasons here. <laughs> What are they shooting with that? It's that long distance rifle.
So I said I'll do better at narrating. So we're just in uh, one of the malls uh, on this tour. Um, you do have to have a COVID, negative COVID result to come into the mall and they check it. And you also have to be masked up, but uh, this is just one of the stops before we go see some more uh, cool things. Dubai isn't even a real place. They, have, they got robots making food for you. They're replacing humans. This, from this entrance is only allowed for the royal family and the VIP delegates to pass on. You know, one can only enter here if you have any hotel or restaurant booking, then only they allow people. The palace is made from white granite and limestone built to last hundreds of years. Unfortunately, we have to wear a mask in here, but this is insane. Look at this. Guys, look at how absolutely insane this looks. This is crazy.
bathroom. <sighs> Goals and aspirations. Same like palace, don't carry any food items or any eatable items with you. Cigarette packets, lighters, electronic cigarettes, anything you have, keep it here in the bus. Carry your mobile phones. one of the lounges or clubs as the, as the good Porsche speeds by looks like kind of looks like a spider but it's not Sorry for being a horrible narrator, but today is the final day. Not really even a day. Can't really consider it since the day is us just traveling back to uh, back to the U.S. So um, we're leaving. I forget when we're leaving, but it'll be a 12-hour journey. And then, uh, yeah, end of the vacation. So I decided to come back to the same place I went yesterday for breakfast. I uh, got French toast and banana berry smoothies. I'm gonna eat and head over to the airport early get through security early just to make sure we're on time so we don't get stuck here. Okay, so that's the smoothies and ice cream. Both look good. That's the French toast over there. Yeah, can't wait. 
This smells amazing. Um, that's syrup. This is the French toast. You see how, I think that's two slices. Yes, yeah, I would hope so. Or else that's the biggest French toast slice ever. Um, banana berry smoothies, ice cream, and fresh fruit. So apparently this is actually one entire slice of French toast because it's filled with strawberries and fruits and everything else you see. It's really good with the ice cream. Airport. It is a quarter past 8 p.m. local time. 